Welcome, 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 welcome to my part one season finale. Oh, vampire, vampire. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, you two? Oh my God. Empire had me on the fucking edge of my seat yesterday. This is the part one finale review. Let's get to it. She do it all night. Yeah. She going hard right. Hey. She make that thing go drip, drop, drip, drippity drop, drip, drop. I do my dance like drip, drop, drip, drippity drop, drip, drop, drip, drippity drop. I know you got that bomb, Charlie. Can I get it? Can I get it? Something on my mind, girl. I know you ready. I, I can't stop eyeing you, loving the way you move. Got me up. Yeah. Edges, my edges, my edges, my edges, my fucking edges have been snatched and slayed to fucking capacity yes the fucking day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Episode 11. Die but once. Empire episode eleven die but once was the first hour. Okay, guys, we it 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 is crazy because it, it I I I'm just so astounded by fucking Empire right now. I just I just can't take the sage. Oh, I wanna slap Lee Daniels up in his face because this shit is gonna have to continue to uh, uh season two and, and beyond. They're gonna have to go to fucking season nine, okay? They are going to have to continue to slay edges, continue to 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 to, to uh, uh yeah. I, I, Y'all, I just, I just, I just can't, I can't, I can't deal. I can't deal with the writing. The writing is phenomenal. I am going to miss Empire. They are currently working on season two this summer. Now, uh, I, I think, which means we probably won't see a new season to, from Empire until next year, which is kind of a breakthrough because I was hoping it would be a little bit more sooner. But guys, we, we got to wait till next year for Empire. Boo! But guys, Empire, let's, let, let's just get into it. Oh my God, Lucius, Lucius, oh my God. This shit is just slayed me yesterday. Hey boss, can we go over Hakeem's pre-release party with Snoop tonight? Uh, not right now, I'm writing, please. Okay, but when, because I- Oh, said I am writing right now, Becky. You use your inside voice when you talk- Go ahead, me. Becky, girl. I'm sorry. Look, I can't write with all that damn noise yeah, out there. Get out of here. Wow. So, Lucius. Guys, please don't get me fucking started. Lucius was in the midst of writing some new shit. Becky came in and disrupted him. He said, Becky, I don't have time to be dealing with you. I, I, I'm working on something new. She was like, you use your inside voice to be uh, 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 precious. Uh, was like, you use your inside voice with me. I'm like, you better fucking go off uh Becky. But anyway, he, he started seeing blurred vision and it, it was just getting crazy, y'all. I'm not about to get into the tea with Lucius right now. Let's just get to this to the rest of this review. Oh my god. Lucious. She didn't say, but can we please go through this list? Oh, oh my god, god. please look at me started. Where where, where, where Cookie was with Malcolm. Don't get me started. Doing his new album with us. Then Snoop talks about Hakeem's record dropping the Yes, let me not get into the Snoop Dogg thing, Hakeem guys. Please do don't right? call Hakeem. I'm slapping my knees. I want to reign over my... Oh, hell no. Oh, Hakeem was going to fuck up. So, Lucius had this plan of introducing Soup Dogg and his new album, guys. And, and Peaches and Cream, by the way, I should have gave a review. Shout out to the K2 spot for doing a review for Peaches and Cream because I am so doing a review for Soup Dogg's new album. But anyway, Hakeem is getting ready to... Uh, uh, I guess he's getting ready for his little verse. He's mad at his dad. And it's just a whole lot of shit going on with that. He was like, I don't want to talk to him. You know, his dad 
was trying to call him. I came and he was like, I don't want to talk to him right now. I'm mad him and Camilla can have their money and blah, blah, blah. And guys, it was just so much going on with Hakeem and or the shade that Hakeem threw at Lucius. Oh my God, I'm not going to get into that right now. But let's get into Cookie. Cookie and Malcolm uh, uh, went to, uh, 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 I don't know, uh, some part of a lab or something like that. Guys, I got I to gotta, I gotta know where they was. But anyway, they was on this little romantic getaway. You know, it was it was, it was was cold. And guys, it, they was by the fucking fireplace. Uh, they, they was just, you know, telling, telling each other that they love each other and stuff like that. They had this new romance thing going on. Uh, uh, guys. Guys, don't get me started with the cookie situation, please. Mind you, Lucius is getting ready for his tribute concert. Okay, uh, but before we get into what, what the Malcolm and Cookie situation, Lucius is getting ready for his uh, uh, his tribute concert, guys. Then he got so planned up, guys. But the the tea at the end of the, uh, episode eleven had me on edge, guys. I I I, I literally was sc hollering and screaming and just carrying on. Me and my brother was just at the TV screen going VF off. Guys, I, I just can't deal with the sledge. Y'all can't deal with Empire right now. You guys gotta forgive me. I'm going out of my mind. But anyway, Lucius is carrying on with Becky about uh, uh, his accomplishments and what he has planned for this damn concert. Ooh! Same where, the same where Malcolm and Cookie was making love it was just giving me fucking set it off. Okay, something about this scene was reminding me of set it off when Jada Pinkett and uh, 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 Blair Underwood was making love. Okay, it, it, I, 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 I felt like I was watching a scene from set it off or Jason's lyric or uh, something like that because it, it was very intimate. It was sexy and that was just carrying on, and that, man, it was by the fireplace, it was just so romantic, okay, now mind you, I'm not gonna tell you what happened when Lucius found out, y'all already know what happened, y'all know the tea that happened when Lucius found out, okay, it, it, please don't get me started, but anyway, that scene was just romantic, okay, they played uh, 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 the song by John Legend, I can't think of the name right now, but my auntie loved that song, shout out to her, but anyway, let, 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 let's move on. He's carrying on about what he's got to gotta finish writing his song, okay? He got to finish writing a song for 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 uh, uh for what he's going to have so-called planned. Huh? What he's going to have planned for uh this, the damn tribute concert. But, uh, but then this when we get into when Jamal brought his album out the week the week before the record signing, okay? Now he's at this uh autograph signing uh for the album release, okay? And, and mind you, it's a success, okay? Uh, his his boo was with him. Jamal is just uh, Jamal made me catch my damn life on these last two episodes because Jamal was supposed to cover their dad's song with the DJ Spence, but they're both so mad at him. Yeah, I don't blame them. I don't blame Jamal. Hakeem's better off without that money-grubbing bitch. <laughs> oh, Camilla, she didn't take Lucius's money. Mm, the tea. What? But did he tell you she did? Oh, God, I wish he would just drop dead already. <laughs> We can make it a memorial concert. Jack up the ticket price is really high. <laughs> <laughs> so Snoop, after your last album, you had a bitter split with your label and said you were going. Wow, the Snoop Dogg situation what made is you decide cold. to do a joint venture with Empire for your new album, Bush. Double L, man, Lucius lying. The man, the myth, the legend, right here. And let's just say that uh, Lucius cut me in on a piece of that action. Snoop. Dog's new album Bush. Okay, guys, I really thought this was unique because Snoop Dogg is actually coming out with an album called Bush. I think a little later this summer, and Peaches and Cream is gonna be on there. And guys, okay, I thought this was very unique that Snoop Dogg promoted his album on the TV show. Guys, I thought that that was just so epically genius and amazing. Guys, it was so hooked up. The script was so thought of guys i'm just so astounded but anyway i love the part with snoop dog guy i ain't gonna get i'm like oh i'm not I'm, I'm just gonna go, go right on to the next part oh my god it's known back in the day as the lucius line sound Baby, wow. you're not gonna divide and conquer with me <laughs> <laughs> look next week i'm performing at the mercury arena and i'm gonna blow your mind 
the day that Empire becomes the first black-owned entertainment company to be publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange, I'm going to show you the brand new Lucius Lion sign, and I'm inviting you to be that person. Good luck with so that. Lucius got a letter from Beretti talking about he going to sabotage the concert. Hakeem shows up, like, you know, and and, and uh, Lucius is like, well, I'm so glad you made it. You know what? You finally here. And, uh, you know, he was checking out his swag a little bit. But, guys, okay, this is, where, this is where it gets to the juicy stuff, okay? This little opening thing for Snoop Dogg is just uh, amazing. Oh, my God. We got After to get into it. Snoop. After Snoop Dogg performed Peaches and Cream. Okay, it was a little free beat, freestyle session going on with Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg was doing his little freestyle or whatnot. Then they called Hakeem up. Okay, this is the part that got me on edge. Okay, the very fucking start of the, uh, 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 episode 11. OMG. Okay, so when Hakeem got on stage, he threw... Heavy shade at his dad, Lucius Lion. Okay? The turn mogul, Lucius Lion. He actually threw shade talking about some, I'm going to take your bitch. Oh, hell no. He said, I'm going to take your bitch or something like that. Uh, and, and then a after he went off on stage, guess what? Hakeem was getting ready to leave the premises. Before he left the premises, Lucius grabbed him by his shoulder and punched him in his face. Oh hell no! Okay, it was it was it, 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 Oh my god, that part had me on edge. I can't get back up, spit it, the blood on the floor, and left. Uh, the building, okay. Then it got to when Hakeem had told um, Jamal about what happened. Jamal, uh, I mean, I mean, Hakeem was like, I, I hate his ass. Jamal was talking about all the stuff that Lucius had put him through, but you know what? He still said he said, but you know what? Even even though he did so much true things, even though he really did, I found that that he really did get Lucius really did get Olivia pregnant, okay. Well, which I think was which I think was just in, uh, you know so messed up, you know he. He made Jamal marry. He made Jamal marry Olivia, and then made it look like Jamal got her pregnant, which is which is just stupid. But guys, even he, he, Jamal still stood up for his dad and said he built this empire for us. You know, it don't matter how much he how much shit we take from him, he still is our dad. But guys, that that oh, that ain't the cold part. Well, guess what? He don't. Something. <laughs> I love Portia. Hell, it's Cookie. She's not answering any of my calls. Cookie on her way back from the Berkshires. Oh hell no. Uh oh. He knew. He knew what was going on. Cookies in the Berkshires. Uh oh. Army. Uh, oh, I mean, no, I just said that for instance. You know she. I don't know where she is. <laughs> you know, I, don't I don't remember that. Ain't no nonsense. Why two K? There ain't nothing to hide for my okay, let's start over trying to Oh hell mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You ain't gonna never guess Andre is getting his right, he's getting himself right with the Lord, okay? Because, you know, he got this bipolar thing, but he's been meeting up with Michelle, aka Jennifer Hudson, okay? Uh so he's in this. This, this, this little program with Jennifer Hudson at the church or something like that. So they is getting ready for this little concert or something that's going on with the church or something like that. So Andre is giving his right, his self over to the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. He gets himself right with the Lord. Okay. I love it. I love so it. So after, <laughs> mind you, after, uh, Cookie came back from the Berkshires or Berkshires or whatever. Okay, she brought, she proceeds to bring her sister Carol into Empire Studios. Okay, and she's showing her around, you know what, and all that. And you ain't gonna never guess. Okay, when she tried to swap, when Cookie tried to swap her car to get inside the uh, building, uh, the, the people came after them was telling her that they was gonna lock her up. Okay, and then, um, when, uh, Lucius came, he was like, 
He, he said, you are never to allow to come back to the premises ever again. You are fired. You are not a part of Empire or something like that. And then uh, uh, Cookie goes off on Lucia. She was like, I did 17 years, bitch. And blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. She was going off on Lucia because Lucia had no right to throw her out just because she went to with Malcolm to the Berkshires or Berkshires or Shires or whatnot. But I just think that Lucia was just, just, just kind of lost his mind a little bit. He, that's, I think it's a petty and it's a dick move kind of in a way because why would you throw somebody out just because they sup, they sup with your security guard. Like, I ain't got time for the shade, Luchas. We ain't got time for you. But he, he tried it. He threw, uh, 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 um, uh, Carol and, um, Cookie out. And, and Cookie was going off on this man, okay? Cause I would have did the same okay, thing. Okay. So as Cookie is piling up and getting her stuff out the office, okay? Malcolm comes in and was like, uh, uh, he didn't fire me. And, uh, 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 Cookie was like, well, uh, uh, he threw me out and he didn't throw you out and we both slept together like that's petty. And, but, and it is, okay. But so they get their last farewell. He was, he asked us, girl, well, maybe you should come to Washington, D.C. with me. And she was like, I couldn't just leave Empire. I couldn't just leave my, my, my kids here. You know, I want to stay and support them and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, as, as Cookie is getting ready to leave, you know, she's saying her farewell, you know, uh, I guess like, because, Lucius is wrong for that. All that had happened. Andre goes up to Lucius's office and asks him, so are you hearing that uh, Jamal, it's a possibility that Jamal could be the next one to take over Empire. Andre's going off about, well, how come when we had so much problems, you choose Hakeem and everybody else over me, and are, are you telling me that it's a possible I can win Empire when Jamal is already in the runnings? Okay, Jamal, I mean, I mean, and uh, Lucius explains to him, like, well, I, I would still like to have you a part of the company. Uh, Andre wants Wants out, mind you, and, and, and he's trying to get Andre to stay, even though they still been having problems. He's still trying to get Andre to stay in. Okay. Going throwing up in my face, obsolete. You can keep your money because you ain't worth the time. Did you hear about that injunction that already slapped me with? I did. What are you gonna do about it? My lawyer says I can't move on it. Um, he's gonna lock down half of my songs. Times like these, I bet you wish you didn't lock out cookie. Mm. I'm in a different place in my life right now. Wow. I'm writing these new songs, man. I mean, incredible songs. But I keep getting stuck, you know? I get it. It's that writer's block. It's horrible. Do you remember me talking to you about... After Lucia said, well, maybe it could be a possibility you might be the future of Empire. He was like, I want, I just need to know if you got that monster in you. So then after all that happened, then it gets to uh, Andre and Michelle, okay? So they're getting ready for the sermon at church or something like that. So she's calling him Deacon Andre, blah, blah, blah. He's like, well, I feel like I'm at home and I feel like I, I, I feel like I've been here my whole life. I feel like this is where I need to be, blah, blah, blah. So they're getting ready and all that and whatnot. Lucius and Jamal are taking a trip to their old house. And they have, you know, memories, repressed memories and stuff like that. They're talking to each other. They're trying to come up with a new idea on the old piano. And mind you, uh, Lucius uh, is, is like, would you rather be in a garbage can again or something like that? And, you know, throwing shade. And I did not find it for that all. I wanted to slap Lucius in his face because of that flashback memory when he, remember when he threw um, Jamal in a garbage can because he, you know, for being gay. And I ain't got time. You know what? This is a, this, but anyway, I thought it happened. So they do this song, okay? And and, and this it happens to be one of my favorites. It happens to be one of my favorites on the Empire Season One soundtrack, guys. Entitled "Nothing to Lose." Okay, so then they have two versions. It's real simple. They have the version with him and Lucius, which is which is the version I like because they are singing their ass. Well, I can't really speak for Terrence Howard because they motherfucking don't know how to sing. Oh, shade, no shade, I'll shade, I'll tell. But anyway, then you got 
uh, Jamal was going off, okay? And then, you know, Terrence Howard can play the, can play, uh, the guitar real good. So, they come up with this nice, smooth melody, which I love. I'm just catching my life, and they're saying my song, Nothing to Lose. Guys, I just love Nothing to Lose, okay? Let's get into that. From Beretti. What? And we got a deal. No. That's over anyway. If, if Vernon and the lawyers couldn't do it, what makes you think? Do I'm you want it? empire or don't you? Wow. Because if you want it, you got to be willing to take it mm. to where they can't take it. Otherwise, there won't be an empire for you to leave. Wow. Loses. <laughs> She's going Loses. off. Is Cookie is going off. <laughs> come on, cookie. Cause I'm a killer you get over yourself. I mean, come on. You did 17 years in the fair, so now you're trying to tell me you can't deal with Lucius that for is three years. Real crazy. So uh, uh, Cookie told Lucius that Hakeem is on his way to Beretti. She showed him a text message and every fucking thing. So they're on their way to see Beretti. Beretti is doing this little sex party or whatnot. And mind you, when they show up, Jamal shows up with him. Okay, Jamal is, uh, is throwing his ass over a balcony of Beretti. Okay, Beretti. Uh, I guess uh, 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 just so he can get his, you know, something back. From Beretti, because Beretti's trying to take over uh, uh, songs or something like that. So Jamal goes in. He is punching this man over a belt. That scene reminded me of the five heartbeats, guys, for some reason. I don't know why. But I was just catching a five heartbeats um, uh, 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 vibe from that part when he had him over there. So mind you, after all that had happened, Lucius makes his way to see, to try to see if he can look for Beretti. And, and I guess where Hakeem is at. This motherfucker is inside Anika. Boo Boo Kitty. Okay, this is where we get back to Boo Boo Kitty. Boo Boo Kitty and Hakeem are messing around. I knew it. I had a feeling. I said I was looking at it yesterday. I said I kind of had a feeling that they he had some type of sex thing going on with a, a Boo Boo Kitty, even though. Uh, uh, you know, she was with, what's name? So, Boo Boo Kitty is a thot, okay? A T-H-O-T, thot. Okay, so I, I, it wasn't no surprise to me at all, because she's a hoe. And, and this is one of the reasons why I didn't like Boo Boo Kitty from the beginning. But anyway, Lucius caught, uh, his son, Hakeem, going in, Anika. I, I can when we get into uh, the ALS situation with Lucius. So, guess what? Lucius does not have ALS. So I don't have ALS. Mm. Sorry, Lucius. The bitch lied to him. You know, ALS is largely diagnosed by eliminating other conditions. There's no specific blood test. I need one of you scan. Negros. This thing I have, it's not as serious. What's it called? Myasthenia gravis. I myasthenia, what the f child I answer? A highly her. treatable condition. It's a treatable condition. And you didn't test me for it. Mm. After everything I said. After you found out, Lucius did not have ALS. I don't know what the hell he is, but it's a treatable condition. So he didn't tell none of his family members that yet. Okay, so that's a good end on his part. But he better watch the hell out on next season. This shit might catch up with him. But anyway, Lucius does not have ALS, so he's not going to die. So maybe you can say that's a little relief. But anyway, after all that had happened, he told the lady to get the hell out the house. Okay, so then we get to Andre. When Andre and Michelle, okay, so Lucius is walking with Andre. Andre, Andre uh, 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 Lucius asks Michelle to do a album, a gospel album for his record label. So he called himself trying to take, uh, 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 try, trying to put Michelle in his bed and his shit while Andre is still try, is trying to not get people involved. So she's letting him know my father is not to be trusted. He's the devil. Hell no. I'm like, you better, you better tell it, Andre. Okay. This is when I start like an Andre character because Andre seems less crazier now that he's getting a little help. But anyway, guys, this is where we get into some more juicy stuff. Stuff. Okay, so and then we get to this treatment that uh, um, Lucius has, which is scary. Like crazy. This, you open up your arms and you embrace it. My father is the devil. 
and you just spread your legs. Let's go to jail, but you get to stay what? out. What? This, this, this is this is part. Music. Get off my bed! Get away from me! Uh, I'm not on you. I ain't going with you. I'm not going with oh, you. Oh, this is when this was act scary. Lucius. What? You messed up. Monkey. Lucius. Oh hell no! This is the part. Oh, monkey, come on. Mm-mm. What? What the hell? What? what kind of drugs are you taking? <laughs> oh, hell no. You can't be. This part is crazy. What? It's like Shine's boys as you kept threatening. Oh, he started acting what? crazy, so Cookie found out that Lucius killed him. Everybody that crosses me. Oh, no, no, this is scary, y'all. This part. Everybody. And y'all can't kill me. You think Hakeem can hurt me? He is not himself. You think? Them Cookie drugs got him fucked up. Yo, God can't even hurt this boy. What? He tried to kill me. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> man, man. Guess what? I ain't got it unless I ain't dying. Oh, what? I'm not dying. Mm, 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 it's like my goodbye concert. Ain't no farewell. Oh, hell no. And it's my comeback concert. Oh, uh -uh. Cause I'm about to come back like the phoenix from the ashes. Ooh. I'm gonna rise up from the dead like Jesus. Ooh. I'm your Messiah. Mm. Oh, go ahead. Uh. Oh, uh uh. Uh uh. Oh, my God. Uh uh. Oh, oh, oh. So, guess what? So, guess what happens? She tried to kill Lucius. Ooh. Ooh. I hope. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed part one of the season finale of Empire. Guys, I am going to miss Empire. Let's get to the part two. Oh my God, next video.